<clears throat> All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Mikey, and man, a lot of shit is going on this week, and uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a long video, so I'll just get right the fuck to it. So, first off, uh, I start off as reports, and like I said before, if it's being reported, then it's probably going to happen, and it did. Looks like the NASCAR Xfinity Series, when they go to India this July, will run restrictor plays at that track. And for the nine people that will show up to that race, are probably going to want their money back. <laughs> oh my god. So, I was, okay, I'll just say this out right off the gate. I don't, I'm not into engineering, I don't work on cars, I don't know anything about it, I just enjoy the racing. But, honestly, I don't think it's going to change the racing that much at using restrictor plates at Indy. What's next? Are they going to use restrictor plates at Barnesville or Bristol? <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, no, there's no question that NASCAR is desperate to make NASCAR and Indy great again because the attendance when NASCAR first started going there, it was like over 250,000, maybe 300,000 in attendance. And this past summer, and I'm talking about just uh, the Monster Energy Cup, it was probably only like less than 70,000 in attendance. Like, they were ha they were desperate to give out free tickets. It was just so bad. But, I mean, it's not happening to the Sprint Cup. It's just Dealer. happening to the Xfinity right now. I think they're just testing it out. But, I mean, the reason why I say that they're Dealer. not probably... It's, the race is probably not going to change for the Xfinity that we usually see in the past is because, I mean, just the way how the track is laid out. I mean, it's a flat, big, long track. Very, very less banking. Um, I mean, it's just, they're gonna get, I think, I don't think it's gonna change that much to be honest with you. I mean, I could be wrong, but, I mean, they might get closer together, but it's still gonna be a tough track to pass on. I mean, if you think about it, back when, I'm talking about all the racing, like, both Xfinity and Monster Cup. The racing at Indy has never been great. I don't know why people are saying, oh my god, it's the most boring racetrack ever. I'm like, dude, even when they first started going there in 94, the racing has not been great. I mean, I think, I, I can probably name the one probably decent race I could think of for the Brickyard 400 was, I think it was, I think it was 2007. When uh, Tony Stewart and Kevin Harvick started going in the ass of the other, it was a race that Tony Stewart came out of the reel and said, Hey, you're kitty, kitty, kitty. Ended up winning the race. And then in Victory Lane, he used the word bullshit on live TV in front of every uh, of those 100,000 fans and got fined. So, and that was smart of Tony Stewart, but he didn't care. So, and I think the next year after that, the whole Goodyear blows it at Indy. And I think that's what part of it probably started a big old decline but I don't know I mean ever since it just seemed like ever since that year that Indy or the that one great year 400 that Indy had uh, the Indy I keep Good saying year. Indy Goodyear just had a Good shit ass tire like it was always like the cost of like every 10 to 14 laps and because of the tire will blow out uh, I think Jimmy Johnson ended up winning man that I, th I think that race just started the, that was started the decline so I mean I don't know why everyone's just saying just go back to IRP I mean okay in my opinion yes I agree the Brickyard has, has always been the most boring races of all time but I don't think they should take it out of the schedule I mean I, I, I get it it's boring but dude it's still such a big prestigious race I mean it's still almost as I mean not as big but it's pretty big just like how the day 2500 is why you see jeff gordon winning that at that track and some big deal how but dale jared and him starting the freaking gay kissing the bricks so uh i don't know that's just my opinion i don't think they should take it off the schedule despite the low attendance and despite the lack of racing and excitement but anyway back to xfinity side um I just don't think it's going to change racing at all. I mean, I think if they really want to fix this racing, I said it in my one of my other videos. Go back to that race IR or whatever that old, right down the street, that old uh, short track right down the street, like way back in the day. When the cup cars are at the Brickyard this weekend, the Xfinity are at the uh, fucking uh, short track, uh, Indy Raceway Park, I think it's called. 
and I heard a report I saw on Twitter uh, saying that the reason why uh, these videos were in there anymore because there's only 30,000 uh, permanent seating. Dude, I guarantee you this past July in the Xfinity and, well, maybe not uh, cup racing, but guarantee you in the Xfinity, probably only 10,000 showed up. Dude, bring the, that uh, racing series back to that track and guarantee you it's going to get close to selling out. There's, I mean, I get it, there's not a lot of seats, but dude, there's so much more excitement, so much more action, so much going on on a short track than the big old two and a half mile rectangle. So, I mean, I get the history of India. I mean, don't take it off the schedule, but for the Xfinity side, keep, go back to IRP, whatever that fucking track is called. Raceway Park, well, I'll just call it that. Raceway Park, go back to that, okay? We need more short tracks. Even, I think the Cup guys should race there. I mean, you guys can make more seats. I mean, hell, you guys, and I'll get back to my other set, uh, subject. Um, I mean, if I don't take, just go, just go at Raceway Park, okay? Xfinity needs to go there. I said it when they first announced that the Xfinity is going to at the actual brickyard. I'm like, bad idea, bad idea. And man, I've been right ever since. I'm sure as everyone else as well. So, all right. And another, uh, speaking of seating, it's being reported that Charlotte Motor Speedway and Las Vegas Motor Speedway are cutting seating capacity. Um, okay. I'm not surprised because I mean I, okay if I go to a race I don't really care about you know oh my god look at all these people it was, it's us all, all packed I mean or, or I'm like oh my god there's like nobody here what's going on NASCAR I'm there to watch the race okay I don't care about I mean I know it's a big problem it's been happening the past couple of years it is noticeable you can easily notice that there's like nobody uh, there's not a lot of people that show up to NASCAR races like they did 10 years ago but I mean, I'm not going there. I'm not going to a football game to look at the stands. I'm going there to watch the game. I'm not going to the NASCAR race to look at the grandstands. I'm like, wow. I wonder how many fans, if I can count, how many are in those grandstands. I'm there to watch the race. So that's my first uh, thought on it. And I mean, I just think, I mean, same thing with MIS. When they took all those grandstands in turn three and four, where I, when I first started going to NASCAR races, when I first I sat in those areas. I'm like, dude, you're just going to make the attendance worse. I mean, I know it's going to make make it look better that you have more fans, but, dude, it's just going to make it horrible. I mean, look at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Dude, they had over 100,000 uh, seating capacity. It was easily sold out, and now they're probably less to 70, maybe even 60. So I just think that it's still going to make it worse because those fans have no permanent seating. They uh, renew their seatings, and then once they get taken away, you're most likely not gonna fucking come back. So you might as well just keep the shit, or most of the areas that you see are have like nothing going uh, in the area. Just they just end up covering it, like Dover did. Like turn three and turn four, they had nobody sitting in that area, so they just covered it and just moved them closer to the uh, start finish line, and. It, it didn't work out because even less fans started showing up. I mean, I think so. I don't know. I mean, kind of like Texas Motor Speedway is doing. Like they don't care about. They, I don't think they haven't even took down any seating. I think that's the only track. I mean, they just they still got the back stretch grandstands, but I don't think they're not letting anybody uh, sit at that back stretch. They're just letting everyone move up to the first straight away. Yeah, that's where all the action's at, I guess, but... And the thing I don't get, if this is being reported that Las Vegas is cutting seating capacity, they just, they just cut down the seats in, um, <clears throat> in, um, turn three and four. And now they have to have a second race. Now they're gonna cut even more? What the hell are they gonna cut? I mean, you got the tall, you got the first race, what else are you gonna cut? I mean, I think that's all you can do. I mean, I thought this past race, there was actually quite a few people until the end of the race, because I heard the service at Las Vegas was, was horrible. But, and that's one thing I noticed. I noticed that Phoenix in this past race last weekend, and at Las Vegas, beginning of the race, there was a lot of people. And then what become, like, middle of the race, 
towards the end. I didn't. I noticed like a lot of people left. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And no, we got great chest. And I don't know. It's just. I don't think it's gonna change. It's just gonna make it worse. That's all I have to say. But I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. I mean. And that was my alarm. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. So I guess we'll have to see. And yes, and by the way, this is my 2017 uh, pay schemes. Uh, I got the update. And I don't know. Let's see. What left? How many last we got? One to go? Alright. So. I'll break this down. Uh, restrict plays at Indy. I think it's stupid. But I don't think it's going to change the race at all just because of the way the track is laid out. It's so flat and the tight corners, the big track. I'll, I think they might, they're not going to be spread out as much. But it's still going to be a hard, tough to pass just because of the way the track is. And cutting seating capacity is just going to make things worse. So I say just leave it alone. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't run the business, I just, I'm going by from what I see. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.